What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Kakis and today I finally got the brand new exotic catalyst added to Destiny 2 within Season of Plunder and that is the catalyst for the Thunderlord exotic machine gun. Now you can acquire this catalyst through a variety of activities. It drops from the end of strikes, crucible matches, I think even Gambit as well. I got it from Iron Banner. I was in a lobby, as you can see, the most Hollywood lobby out there with a bunch of other streamers and YouTubers, and we finally had enough streamer loot all connected in one lobby uh, to make this catalyst drop for me, as you can see. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, the PvP YouTubers didn't want me showing this uh, scoreboard. Anyways, moving on from there, guys, let's talk about this catalyst and why it is making the Thunderlord one of the best, honestly, I'm not even going to lie, not even one of the best, the best machine gun in all of Destiny 2 right now. So, taking a look at the base Thunderlord, this has the intrinsic trait, Rain Havoc. Final blows with this weapon generate stunning lightning rounds from above, strong against overload champions. Now that last part was actually added just this season. The Thunderlord has built in overload rounds all the time, which is fantastic. Now it's got another unique trait here with lightning rounds. This weapon fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held. Continuous damage generates stunning lightning strikes. So this by itself is already very powerful and I think the Thunderlord would be seeing more play in Season of Plunder even if it didn't get a catalyst because its arc, it just again got overload rounds, and an important piece of the puzzle is that machine guns in general got an absolutely massive PvE damage buff. As you can see, they're now gonna hit 40% harder against every single PvE enemy except for bosses to which they will only hit 20% harder. But importantly, certain weapons, specifically like the Xenophage, were excluded from this boss damage buff. So the Xenophage isn't doing 20% more damage against bosses, it's doing the same it's always done against bosses. But the Thunderlord wasn't included as one of these exceptions. It is getting that 20% damage increase against bosses and it gets its new catalyst. So let's take a look at this thing. It adds a new ability which says, causing a lightning strike with this weapon partially reloads the magazine from reserves. And you can see from gameplay while I was leveling this catalyst up, so before it was equipped, I get a kill on these shadow thralls, the lightning strike goes off, it kills a bunch of them, like this is a devastating ad clearing weapon, but nothing else happens. You can also see that when I shoot Shiro Chi, even though she's immune, I'm not doing damage to her, you can see as I continue to shoot, then lightning strikes will start coming down more and more frequently for that extra damage. Also combined with that is the fact that the gun is speeding up in terms of its rate of fire. So yeah, the overall damage output with the Thunderlord has always been like significantly higher than most other machine guns. But now you can see after leveling up this weapon and equipping the catalyst, when I kill those same shadow thrall and cause that lightning strike, boom, I suddenly get a chunk of ammo back in the magazine. And because of this, you can see I'm killing multiple targets, but I'm able to remain at this max magazine size of 62 for quite a while. Slowing down the footage, I do see the magazine go from 53 back up to 60, so you can expect to gain uh, seven to eight rounds every time this effect is going to trigger. So. First of all, at a base level, looking at that effect against adds, my goodness, you basically have the subsistence perk added to the Thunderlord. When you're getting kills, because when you get a kill it spawns a lightning strike, you'll get a chunk of ammo back. So that by itself is absolutely phenomenal. When we're talking about the ad clearing potential of a machine gun, like 
Bungie itself has said machine guns are great at clearing ads. And so you actually have legendary machine gun god rolls that feature the subsistence perk. So you're constantly getting ammo back as you're getting these kills. I mean, subsistence even on primary weapons is a very valuable perk on a lot of rolls for PvE. So this is going to increase its ad clearing potential quite a bit because now you don't have to stop to reload your gun. You can just pop off. However, there's that secondary effect, right, where we showed if you're shooting a boss, Shirochi, you're going to have those lightning strikes spawning as well for additional damage. Well, this effect also works with those lightning effects. It's not just the ones you spawn on kills. So, as you can see from this example right here, I go up, I unleash my magazine, and I do not need to reload until I am completely out of ammunition. Now, I'm not getting enough back for it to go infinite, like I will eventually run out of ammo and need to reload, but that magazine size of 62, that's irrelevant. Like, you are easily shooting well over 100 rounds with a single magazine because of this perk giving you ammo back on those lightning strikes. And again, it's causing those lightning strikes even on a singleton target. And so the result of that is now you have a weapon that as you hold the trigger, shoots faster, does additional damaging lightning strikes, and now reloads itself in the process. It's almost like getting a free Actium War Rig Exotic Titan chess piece that continuously reloads the ammo of machine guns just for free out of this catalyst. And when you combine all of these things, the Thunderlord with the Catalyst is by far the best DPS machine gun in the entire game. In fact, we did a test right here, as you're seeing, against Oryx. So, one of us has a Thunderlord with the Catalyst, and the rest of us are using other extremely, like, high-potency machine guns. We have a Xenophage, right? We have, I'm using the corrective measure with rewind rounds plus high-impact reserves, such a wombo combo, and we all do damage against Oryx, and as you can see, here is the final result. So the Thunderlord with the Catalyst just walks past everything else's DPS. Xenophage? Embarrassing, right? Like, the Thunderlord is clearly the top in terms of DPS thanks to this brand new Catalyst. And this makes this weapon actually extremely potent because this million damage number is somewhat comparable, as you can see here, to when we tested linear fusion rifles. By the way, guys, if you want to see like the full tests where we did a bunch of different weapons against Oryx, click the link, it's up above. But although obviously the linear fusion rifles are out damaging this thing, I mean, it's still in the conversation to do a little over a million damage is significantly more than most other weapons out there. And here's what makes this all so insane is like we're talking about its DPS against a singleton target boss being fantastic, but it's also literally one of the best weapons in the game for clearing out ads, right? Like, oh my goodness, those lightning strikes that spawn when you get kills, it's basically like Firefly, but you don't even need a headshot just for wiping out red bars. Like, so you have arguably the best machine gun in the entire game for ad clearing, now thanks to its catalyst, also clearly the best machine gun in the entire game for damage output? Well, what a complete package. So 100% guys, the catalyst for the Thunderlord is worth getting. Now, will it be like the absolute meta choice or everything? I don't exactly know, but my goodness for doing most activities in the game, running a Thunderlord gives you an incredibly powerful weapon that again, just got another spike in power thanks to its catalyst. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.